Hey everybody, we are here with another episode of Monday with Deco Art, and we are going to continue working on our five steps to a fabulous canvas, yeah? So, inspired by Shannon Green and her journaling by fives, and uh, <clears throat> mainly, um, and uh, also a, uh, by a suggestion from one of my subscribers and fans, Donna Handraham, um, and a few other people uh, who have requested that they love my watercolor videos, but can we do some acrylic too? So of course, here we are. <laughs> so this is step two. Step two is about drawing. Um, so in this step, you only need a few things. And one of them is baby wipes, which I have right here, or a soft wet rag. Um, I have a charcoal pencil. You could use a pastel. You could use... Um, a pen or a marker for that matter, an acrylic pen or marker, stay away from oil pastels or um, gelatos or anything like that because you're going to have trouble getting other layers of stuff to stick to them. Yeah. You're also going to need some fluid paint. Now you could use any kind of fluid paint that you have or you could water or thin down some paint that you have. I really like the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics. I have a few colors here that I've chosen today, so I have to actually pick one. Um, and I don't think it's going to be the turquoise. <laughs> I don't know. I've got this dark gray that I kind of want, value 3, want to use. Um, but I have this Payne's Gray too. Payne's Gray is kind of my go-to color. I think I'm going to use that. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to put some into a fine line bottle. We're going to need our, our BBs. So I've got a fine line applicator tip bottle. This is a 20 gauge. Got a 20 gauge. It's got a needle tip on it. Yeah, can you see that? All right. And the lid has a little pin in it so that um, it doesn't really ever get clogged up. It takes a lot to get it clogged up. Okay, so for right now we're going to put the lid back on. We're going to put some BBs in. These again, I have said before in past videos that I got these at Walmart. They came in this little tube just like you see them. Um, it's got, originally had 350 BBs in them. I got them in the sporting goods department and I think that the whole thing was like 97 cents or something. So I'm going to dump some of those in the bottle and that'll help agitate the paint and the medium and keep help, be, help you mix it when it starts to separate. Um, we're going to use airbrush medium. You could use glazing fluid. You could use water if that's all you have. You could use glazing fluid if you have some. Deco Arts makes a really great glazing fluid. Okay, and then we're going to put in some paint. There's really no formula. You probably want about, I don't know, three quarters fluid, one quarter paint. And just kind of play with, do half, start with half and half and play with the mixture until you get, you know, a color that you like, basically. Okay, that looks pretty good. And the reason you want to mix the paint with the medium is so it thins out the paint enough that it easily comes through the applicator tip. And the medium, rather than just using plain water, whether you use airbrush medium or glazing fluid, using one of those also extends the open time or drying time of the paint so you have time to work with it and push it around. Or if you put something on there that you hate, wipe it off completely. Now because we have let this dry, it's been dry actually for a couple of days, if I do put any of that paint on here and I don't like it, I can wipe it all off with a baby wipe without disturbing this because this is just this is completely dry. So now, before you do anything, you want to figure out which way your canvas wants to be oriented. And I think I'm going to do it this way, which means I have to move a bunch of stuff off my table so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to have the timer right there. Okay, there, there we go. So you can't quite get the whole canvas, but just about. You can get most of it. All right. So don't, in this step, think, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to do this next step. I can't draw. 
So this isn't about being Picasso. This is about just being free and making marks and expressing yourself. Um, yes, it's on a canvas and it's going to hang on the wall, but it doesn't have to be. You could do this definitely in a journal, on a journal page. Um, keep your shape, shape simple if you don't have experience drawing. Of course, if you want to put a face on there, put a face on there. Maybe you just want to do circles or squares or something like that. You want to do something abstract. Do that. That's fine. Um, just have fun with it and do what feels right. So I, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with my, obviously with my charcoal pencil and just make some lines. Let's see, I wasn't so sure that was going to be a floral shape, but I guess it's a floral shape. I guess that's a floral shape. <laughs> and I don't think I want anything else on there. I think I'm good with that. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do some more outlining and painting. with our um, paint. I'll be right, hang on a second, I gotta get something, I'll be right back. I wiped it off because I got started, I didn't set the timer. <laughs> Oops! So we've got the timer right here, 15 minutes. Each step is only 15 minutes, okay. So we're gonna hit start, okay. So now we're gonna go back with our charcoal pencil. <laughs> And you're going to just draw a shape. Maybe you just want to do circles. Maybe you want to do flowers. Whatever you want to do. This is a floral shape I've actually done before. In one of my first journals I ever did. Now my canvas is very textured, so it's going to leave some interesting marks. Because of the texture. And there's some paper came up. I'm totally not going to even worry about that. Not right now, anyway. That may happen to you. That's some of the collage paper. So as you go, if that happens, you can just grab some gel medium or some of your deco page, which would be easier to get open. Oops. And oh, I'm going to grab a little brush and I'm going to just fix that really quick. I've got 15 minutes, so I obviously missed a spot. There we go. Make sure if you're using a, one of your paintbrushes for glue like that, you stick it right in the water right away. Okay, so now we're going to get a baby wipe. And we're going to get our paint in the fine liner bottle. And we're going to define our shapes some more. and sit down. All right, so I'm going to take my baby wipe here and I'm going to go into this paint a little bit and I'm going to blend some of these lines and it's going to mix a little bit with the charcoal. I'm okay with that. But I do want to blend it out. I don't want to leave like this line like right here. I want it to be more of a 
a shadow. And I'm just turning it a little bit so I don't, you know, stick my hand in something. <laughs> Although I do have my painting clothes on, that doesn't mean I want paint stuck to my arm. Oh, we forgot our art guard, didn't we? Oops. Again, you guys have got to remind me to put that art guard on. So I'm just smudging those initial lines a bit. And this is more about putting shapes on your canvas than it is doing lots of painting. So try to be focused on using your paint to draw shapes and pull shapes out of your picture than actually doing tons of um, draw uh, painting, proper painting. I'm going to do some more drawing here and put a few more of those sketchy lines back in where I maybe like the shadows, but maybe I don't like that I took so much of the shape away. Let's see, I'm kind of wanting to draw dots on here. Not that they're going to show up, because, you know, oh, there's a, you know, dot, you know, I guess that dot needs to be there. I like that actually. Okay, what else can we do? This is just a praying charcoal pencil from, I think it's from Michael's. That's a five minute warning. So you have 15 minutes, so that's plenty of time to really just relax and get into the drawing process without thinking about it too much. You shouldn't feel like you're rushed. I don't want you to feel like you're rushed, but at the same time, I don't want you to agonize over what you're drawing for eternity. That's one of the things about doing a timed exercise like Shannon's... Um, journaling by fives is you don't really have time when you do that to just agonize over. You just need to draw. Just get into the process and just draw. And doing it with something like this fine liner where you just really don't have tons of control over what happens. I mean, you have a little bit, but you don't have a lot. It's kind of fun because you have to work with the unexpected. I like that. And you know, I'm just I'm basically I'm just doodling on the canvas. Now you can do this with a paintbrush and some thinned out paint too. If you don't have a fine liner bottle and all you have is, um, you do have the paint and you have a water or a medium to thin it down, you could do it and just get it thin enough so it's more like an inky um, texture and then just do it with a small, like a, um, a size zero or a liner paintbrush and that'll work. So as you're, as you're doing this and you're doodling on your canvas, look for, you know, shapes that you want to call out or preserve that are in the background of what you painted. And maybe there's something back there that you like that you want to preserve. finger in something. 
<laughs> Why am I not surprised? Didn't I say I was trying to avoid doing that? <laughs> so that swirly bit is a textured bit that's actually from the original painting that was on here that I actually don't like, but I'm wanting to put some charcoal on there and then rub it around and create kind of a shadow, so I'm going to do that. So I want some of these circles I drew on here to have a shadow around the outside, but I don't want to um, push the Payne's gray paint into the inside. So I'm going to just smudge the outside a bit. And you know, if I get some into some of these cracks of the texture and it highlights some of that texture, all the better. I'm totally okay with that. I like that actually. Oops, stuck my finger in something else. See, that's what happens. Can't take me anywhere. Now that's shaping up very nicely. Okay, so I like that. So now I want to go back like I did with the flower. And I think I want to do this. Not everywhere, just in a few places. I like that. Another five minute warning. That's okay, we're doing good on time here. I like that too. Now, when you mix um, your paint with um, airbrush medium or glazing fluid. The airbrush medium takes longer to dry, although the glazing fluid also takes a long time to dry. It dries faster than the airbrush medium, so uh, just FYI. Once you do this, you're going to have to just let things sit. I'm really wanting to get some of that gray paint in here, so I think I'm going to just take some of the paint straight out of the bottle. I know I said this was a drawing exercise. I'm not grabbing a paintbrush. I'm going to use the baby wipe and I'm going to stick it right on the baby wipe. And I'm going to curl the rest of the baby wipe up into my hand so I don't accidentally rub it on something I don't want it to be on. Yeah, see I really want that on there. I don't know why I want it on there. But it kind of quiets down the background a little bit. So I can see how the doodling looks. Maybe that's why I want it on there. And these media fluid acrylics are generally speaking more translucent than their more heavy body paints like the traditions artist paint. So you're gonna be able to tone things down a little bit but you won't lose them completely you'll be able to see them through the paint. And if you have enough fine liner bottles, you could do that, you know, fill them with a couple of different colors and then you'll have things to choose from. Okay, I like that. I messed up this year. Oh, I'm really liking the way that's looking, people. Makes me want to go on to step three already, but we're not ready for that. So I think I need to quiet down this a little bit. Do I want to do it with a gray or do I want to just put some of this on here? I think I want to just put some of this on here. And then I think I'm going to just take the uh, baby wipe.
Now, just because you doodle shapes on here doesn't mean that you're stuck with that when you go on to the next steps. It, you know, after this dries, if you decide you don't like something, this painting is all about layers of interesting marks and texture. And so just consider um, anything that you've put on here that you're not happy with as adding more texture to your painting. And just keep going and pushing forward. Um, but have fun doing the doodling process, definitely. And just, you know, just doodle with your paint and or your charcoal pencil. You could put words on here, that would be fun. I think that would be fun to put a word on here. So how about here? How about believe? And the nice thing about having the paint in this mar in this fine liner bottle is you can write with it. So that's fabulous. Okay, that's it. I have about a minute left if or less and I want you to oh, see. Um, I had fun doing the doodling because you have 15 minutes. You don't, you know, need to rush, but I do want you to have some fun with the doodling. Get out your fine liner bottle if you have one and mix yourself up with a deco art fluid paint. Fluid, media fluid acrylics, which I love, by the way. Um, mix yourself up a, a fine liner writing bottle and um, or a charcoal pencil. Uh, you could use chalk pastels. You could use acrylic markers, paint pens. Stay away from anything oily or greasy or slick or creamy because you aren't gonna you're gonna have trouble putting other layers of marks on top of it. But have fun doing your doodling. Think about adding a word and um, just enjoy the process. You can find some of my copyright notices um, and appropriate disc disclaimers in all of the, des the descriptions below on, on all my videos now. Um, and as always, I'm available for questions or comments. Um, if you and uh, product reviews, if you have a product, if you're a company with a product you'd like me to review or you'd like to send me something to try on camera, um, you can do that. My contact information for whoever would like to send me stuff is in the description below along with my email address. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to have a great day, week, or weekend, depending on when this is airing. Uh, and uh, don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Have fun with step two. Bye.